So here is our first look at the domain. I mentioned this a little bit up front. The domain is set to be uh, automatic based on the geometry that you pick. So if I take a look at the front view here and I zoom in, you'll see that because conduction is enabled, it goes all the way out and fully encloses all solids. If conduction was not enabled, it would fall pretty much right about the same shape as that dummy body I did that sealed all the openings. Uh, so you would see some solid outside the domain. So if that doesn't match up with what your expectations are, that could mean you have a problem that you don't even realize yet. Now when I look on the back side, check this out, I've got all this empty space. Now, flow, you know, there's a whole lot of things that it can, it can handle. It can handle empty space, it can handle weird geometry, it can handle all kinds of problems, but what you don't want to do is waste computational time, and I don't want extra space back here. Now, it doesn't, it's not obvious what's back here, but if you do a box select, right to left, that's a crossing, anything touching that box will be selected, and what it does is it grabs those cable glands. All right, so there's something going on with those cable glands, and if you open them up, all right, just like the circuit board, you could come in here and you could get rid of whatever the other bar bodies are. In this case, it's a hidden body that was created by whoever built this gland, and that is where the wire is going to come out. So these are probably part of routing. The wires are going to come out of there, kind of a starting point for the location of the wire. We don't want to get rid of that or else this thing won't function. But it's hidden because we don't actually want it there. So how do we get rid of something from our study without modifying the fundamental geometry because we don't want to do that. So I said everything that's included in the study gets merged and then meshed. But what if it's not included in the study? That's where you need to know about component control. Right click input data, component control, and here you get to tell whether a part or a body is enabled or disabled. So for example, these cable glands have that extra body that I don't want. I can disable them, and it's the same as effectively suppressing it in the model, except that I have not modified the model. I've only modified the study. So I hit apply there. Uh, sometimes I'll put in lids in areas where I just want to measure something of value, I'll put a lid kind of in the middle of nowhere. I don't want the fluid to move around the lid. I want it to ignore that lid because that lid is only there for perhaps a goal definition. Perhaps it's a measurement phase. Maybe it's a mesh control, which we're going to get into in a little bit. In those scenarios, you need to disable that body. And when you do that, the fluid will go right through it as if it doesn't exist. So anytime you have geometry that exists that you don't want, exclude it and get rid of it. Get it out of your way, out of your life. 